When it comes to WNBA players, we certainly seem to hear about their political views or their views on social justice more than we hear about anything that happens on the court because, quite frankly, no one's interested in the WNBA. Uh, maybe a little bit more in the news with things like Brittany Griner getting arrested for being a criminal, bringing illegal drugs into Russia, and getting set free after we traded her for a Russian arms dealer. But now someone else is in the news for hating America, and that is another WNBA player, Natasha Cloud. Natasha Cloud says, our country is trash in wake of Supreme Court's affirmative action ruling. So just to be clear, the ruling by the Supreme Court is that no longer can we use race as a determining factor in who gets into college, which should be a great thing. No more discrimination based on race. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not how some people are viewing this, especially people who might not have got anywhere if it wasn't for the color of their skin. Don't expect to see Natasha Cloud lighting off fireworks this weekend. The Washington Mystics guard went on a Twitter tirade Friday. Our country is trash in so many ways. And instead of using our resources to make it better, we continue to oppress marginalized groups that we have targeted since the beginning of times. Uh, the beginning of times. Black, oh shit, I accidentally clicked on it. Didn't want to go to this person's Twitter. Black and brown communities and LGBTQ plus. Man, we are too powerful to still be attacking issues separate. I feel like I'm going to see a civil war in my lifetime. I'm feeling Yikes. somewhere with human rights, healthcare, and no mass shootings. Uh, this is a person who didn't play in the WNBA for a period of time because they wanted to go out and march for George Floyd protests and things like that. This person is a social justice activist. Uh, this is this this is someone who, again, wants to be known probably more for their social justice views instead of basketball. But just like in so many sports, when people become this vocal and this loud, it turns a lot of people off. And I guess I'm I'm not surprised that yet another WNBA player hates this country and uh, wants to keep racist policies intact. Yeah, the Supreme Court ended racism in college admissions. I'm going to say that again. The Supreme Court ended racism. And the people that were really getting affected by this were Asians. Asians actually are the ones that actually brought up the lawsuit in the first place. I don't know why any college needs to know about your race, which is irrelevant. Therefore, more qualified Asians were actually not getting accepted to schools, whereas the black like black people who shouldn't have been in the school in the first place because they didn't have the academics were getting in to meet quotas. That's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. Yeah, she she's taken a play out of uh Colin Kaepernick's playbook is really what it is maybe she's eyeing a future potential Nike deal uh maybe she's trying to make some big bucks with a uh, woke corporation but this is painfully cringe especially just crying like a fucking baby on Twitter about it that very rarely gets you anywhere yeah to be honest I'm sure that any deal that she got with Nike would be more than she's getting paid in the WNBA uh because WNBA player salaries are so low which Still, they're overpaid considering yeah. the WNBA loses money every single year. But yeah, just another activist athlete who hates America in the WNBA.